For our school, it's always early childhood education is the area we focus on for students to have that initial um, foundation. It's the stepping stone for all levels. With a strong early childhood education, that is where the success comes. All the students who um, you spoke to a little while ago, they are all products of our early childhood education program. And again, maintenance of standards, which leads to our success, a strong team is really essential because at our school we maintain that um, standard through our um, cooperation and teamwork with all the teachers. So it doesn't happen at middle or upper school, it actually happens lower down in the preschool and infant school divisions. I was going to ask, is there any special preparation that the students undertake when you know they get to the upper division to prepare for the PSC? Well, at the upper division, of course, you, you aim for excellence. So, of course, you're going to push a little harder and do much more work and study time. You encourage them. And you have, of course, we do additional studies, additional um, classes. And we do, you know, well, I think all schools do um, extra classes and mock exams as well. Is there any specific way that Bernice York engages with the parents of these children to get them involved in their education? Well, as parents, they're, they're Im immersed in their child's education because we have an open door policy where parents come in, we can speak to, um, parents can speak to teachers and vice versa. We also have um, technology in the classroom where parents can communicate directly to us through our classroom apps and they can access homework as it is in real time. As it's posted, parents can access it. So parents have access to students' um, classwork in their drive, in their classroom app as well. Well, it's a culmination of all the years of work, you know, all the teachers that the children have been encountered with. It is a team effort that um, takes place. And so it also takes parents and the students to be able to do the work. Talk to us about the culture here at the school. What do you do to foster learning among the students? Well, one of the things that we, we look at, right, is that there is dedication in part of the teachers um, and they go above and beyond in terms of helping out. And then we also try to be able to identify where will be some of our needs in terms of where we need to work on so that we'll be able to be better prepared for the following year and like what I said it is a culmination of the years of the student being with the teachers throughout the year because with the performance from BJAT you'll be able to know what are some of the things and some of the strategies or inter intervention you need to be able to do so that you're able to get your student to a certain level. And finally how do you build off of this success going into next year? It's just, again, looking at what we're doing right and see whereby you know, what level of improvements we can have because you know, we're not at 100%. And so it is look, going back with the teachers, looking at what we have achieved, looking at the areas of concerns, and then building from there and asking parents at the end of the day to also help us and also asking the students to be able to do off their part.